Good morning, everyone. It's Ron from Disney Pins Blog. Today is Wednesday, March 2nd, 2022, and it is the opening day of the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. Okay, we are in, got the festival passport. Now I'm gonna try to go find those pin releases. Gotta check the uh, pin trading headquarters store here on the right first, but I'm assuming they're gonna be in the creation shop. That's usually where they are on the opening day of festivals. We only had one piece of festival merch in the pin store and it was the mystery box. I'll show you guys a closer look at this after a uh, creation shop. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, I just left creation shop. I think there were eight SKUs in total, uh, seven individual pins, and then that mystery pin box. I'm actually gonna head back outside right now because I want to take photos in the sun, and then I'm gonna come back in the Odyssey here and uh, work on the blog post. But uh, when I break outside, I'll show you guys a look at all the pins and uh, the addition sizes and retail prices. All right, I just laid out all of the flower and garden festival pins here. First one to start off with the Mickey Mouse, a little dirt never hurt pin. It is a pin on pin design, limited release. I think the retail price on that one is $17.99. Then we get into the two limited edition pins. You have Minnie on the left and Mickey on the right. Very similar design. They are a limited edition of $4,000. Retail price $19.99. Then I think we have my favorite of the festival, Think Orange with Orange Bird and the Orange Spaceship Bird. Limited release. Then we have the mystery pin set, 10 pins in total. Figment, Spike, Pluto, Goofy, Mickey Minnie, Chip and Dale, Donald Daisy. And then uh, over here to my right, we have Figment. And this is, this is an annual pass holder exclusive. And uh, there's a spinner element there at the bottom, grown with imagination. And on the other side, I think it just has the uh, festival logo for Flower and Garden. Then lastly, we have two Spike the Bee pins. They are both limited release as well, except for the one on the right that is a annual pass holder exclusive. This one here is a pin on pin design. They two in the background, flower and garden festival logo. And then this one here has a little bit of a translucent fill for the letters for pass holder. And uh, Spike the Bee, there is also a pin on pin design. I'll leave a link below to the blog post at DisneyPinsBlog.com for photos and details. There's also festival merch in this building here. Uh, so you have options. Right here in front of World Showcase to get festival merch. There's a line to get in. Um, and then also the creation shop. I had the honey chicken flatbread, delicious. Just like I remember from last year. Just got myself a uh, brown sugar shaken espresso from Starbucks. Now I'm gonna do a loop around World Showcase. All right, in Italy right now, and I went for the ravioli. Here it is, I think it's like $12. Get some wraps and a spring mix. I went with the grilled chicken skewer here in Japan.
think it's time to open up some of these mystery boxes. I uh, did get four, I got two here, so let's get right into it. I uh, don't have my tripod, so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. We'll see how it goes. All right, I had to pre-rip them. So let's see what we get here right off the rip. I didn't look at them yet. They're upside down. Ooh, we got Figment. Very first one. Figment with Spaceship Earth. It looks like it might have a little bit of a glow in the dark for Spaceship Earth. Not sure, but that's nice. And um, I was actually kind of shocked at these. There, there are two pins per box, but the retail price is $24.99. So pretty crazy for uh, a mystery box. They do have a silver tone finish. They're limited release. Flower and Garden Festival logo there on the back. Let's see what our second pin is. I did already rip it. Just didn't look yet. We got Goofy. He's smelling the flowers. Oh, it's too hard to rip them, uh, so I just opened them all up. I got three Spike the Bee pins, two Figments, a Goofy, and Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck. I think my favorite is the uh, Figment and Spike. They're pretty nice. I'm gonna try to go get some more boxes so we can complete the set. Still have Pluto, Chippendale, and Donald, and Mickey to go. I'm also here in front of Space 220 restaurant and had some of the collectible trading cards. The Patina group sent me a few to open up, so I'm gonna show you guys a closer look at them. All right, here's our first pack of Space 220 collectible trading cards. I uh, actually already went to this restaurant once, whenever it first opened, and uh, my friends I was, I was with, they did get a kid's meal, and that's how you get the cards. I think they come in a kid's meal, and I believe if you purchase a beverage, some type of drink, you get the cards as well. This one says, Etched in Eternity. A Real Scorcher. This one says, Long Mercury Days. An Ocean of Stars card. So this is the Mercury series. Uh, looks like this one here says Venus series. Maybe there's one for each planet. Milk's flying up in the air, trying to pour her cereal there. Yeah, so it looks like we got in this pack, Venus and Mercury. Next pack of cards. I'll have to get my other ones out too from whenever we previously went to the, the restaurant. Actually, these are all doubles. Bummer, a double pack. Our final pack, got some different ones here. The Weight of the World. Earth series, that's cool. Got lunar bacon cubes <laughs> from Mercury. Long Mercury days, we had that one already. Earth series uh, space tours, and that's cool. Uh, another Venus one. And yeah, there we have it. That was uh, pack number three. Let me go get my other ones so I can show you those as well. So here's the first pack that I got whenever the restaurant first opened. Tomorrow's Greenhouse, X2 Deep Space Shuttle. Uh, space tours, and we had that one already. X2 hoverboard, that's cool. And the way of the world. Yeah, so these are the first ones I got. It'd be cool if the uh, restaurant continues to make these cards and um, maybe people will start trading them in the parks. They gotta make some holographic ones like Pokemon though, that'd be cool. Then I was able to trade my friends for the mystery pins. I'm only missing one now and it's Mickey. But yeah, here's a closer look at nine of the 10. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the little vlog and the pin releases today from the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. It runs from March 2nd, the whole way until July 4th, 2022. So a few months of the festival, I'll definitely be back again, to try more booths. Thanks for watching everyone, see ya. Yeah.